Hey there, fellow preppers. Have you ever found yourself in the unsettling situation of a power grid failure, staring into your fridge, wondering which food to prioritize before it goes to waste? Well, you're not alone. It's a dilemma we've all faced at some point, and it's a problem that can lead to unnecessary food spoilage and waste. But what if I told you there's a way to navigate this tricky situation with strategy and foresight? Picture this, the power goes out, and you're left with a ticking time bomb in your fridge. The clock is ticking, and your perishables are at stake. But fear not, there's a game plan to follow, a sequence to your consumption that can maximize the freshness of your food and minimize waste. Today, on Prepping for Tomorrow, we're diving into a critical topic, how to strategically consume your food during a power outage to minimize spoilage. In the initial hours of a power outage, your fridge is your lifeline, but it's essential to be strategic. Now, let's delve into the strategy of food consumption in the face of a power outage. When the power goes out, the fridge should be your first stop, but not all foods are created equal. Dairy products such as milk, cheese, and yogurt should be your first priority. These items can spoil quickly, and you don't want any of that creamy goodness to go to waste. Follow this up with any prepared meals or leftovers. Remember, these are already cooked, so they're easy to consume without the need for additional cooking. Next on the list, we have meats and poultry. These should be consumed as early as possible as they are highly perishable, and can pose health risks if left unrefrigerated for too long. Seafood, on the other hand, is even more delicate. So if you've got any shrimp or fish in the fridge, make it a seafood night. Now let's talk about spoilage. The most common signs of food spoilage are changes in color, smell, or texture. If your food looks, smells, or feels off, it's better to be safe than sorry. Remember, when in doubt, throw it out. But what about fruits and vegetables? Well, these items are generally more forgiving and can last a bit longer without refrigeration. Therefore, they should be consumed last. However, certain fruits like berries can spoil quickly, so keep an eye on them. Lastly, don't forget about the condiments. While most of these have a longer shelf life, they can still spoil. So, use them to add flavor to your meals and make the most of your perishables. And there you have it. The initial hours of a power outage can be stressful, but with a clear strategy, you can make the most of your fridge and minimize waste. Your first priority is the food in the fridge. We'll discuss which items to grab first, the signs of spoilage, and how to make the most of the perishables while they're still salvageable. So stay tuned, and let's conquer this challenge together. As the clock continues to tick, it's time to move on to the freezer. This frosty fortress is your next line of defense in a power outage. But just as with your fridge, strategy is key. You see, not all frozen foods are created equal. They have a hierarchy, a pecking order if you will, based on their ability to last without power. At the top of the pyramid, we have frozen fruits and vegetables. They should be your first port of call. These are not only nutritious, but also versatile. You can use them in a variety of dishes from smoothies to stir-fries. Next in line are your frozen meats and poultry. These items can stay safe for up to two days in a powerless freezer, provided the door is kept shut. But once you take them out, they need to be cooked immediately. And remember, once thawed, they must not be refrozen. Then we have your frozen meals and leftovers. These are great for quick, easy meals, and should be consumed after your meats and poultry. Last, but certainly not least, are your frozen dairy products like ice cream. Enjoy them as a treat, but don't bank on them for sustenance. They're the first to thaw and spoil, so consume them quickly to avoid waste. Now you might be wondering how do you use these frozen foods efficiently? The key here is to think about your meals in advance. Plan your meals around the items that need to be consumed first. And don't forget to use your grill or camping stove if you have one. They can be a lifesaver when the power's out. Remember, the goal is to minimize waste and maximize the use of your frozen food. The last thing you want is for your food to spoil and go to waste. So, there you have it, your guide to navigating the frozen tundra of your freezer during a power outage. We'll explore the hierarchy of frozen foods, what to cook first, and how to use them efficiently to sustain you through the power outage. Once the perishables are addressed, it's time to pivot to fresh produce and items on the counter. Picture this, your kitchen countertop and dining table now become the center stage of your survival strategy. It's a beautiful mosaic of colors and textures, filled with fresh fruits, vegetables, bread, and other items that don't require refrigeration. What's the game plan? It's all about consumption sequencing. The idea is simple. Consume fresh produce and items on the counter in the order of their perishability. Let's start with the most perishable items. 
Fruits like bananas, berries, and avocados are high on the list. They ripen quickly and won't last more than a few days without refrigeration. Next, we have vegetables such as zucchini, eggplant, and bell peppers. They may be a bit hardier than fruits, but they're still sensitive to temperature changes and should be consumed within a few days. Then, we move on to root vegetables like potatoes, onions, and garlic. They're the sturdy ones, able to last weeks on the countertop. However, remember to keep them in a cool, dark, and ventilated area to prolong their shelf life. What about bread? Well, it depends on the type. Freshly baked bread without preservatives will only last a couple of days at room temperature, while commercially produced bread can last up to a week. Now let's not forget about the cheese. Hard cheeses like cheddar or gouda can be safely stored at room temperature for a few days. But remember, once cut, they need to be consumed quicker, as the exposed areas can dry out or develop mold. And finally we have items like nuts, dried fruits, and canned goods. They're the long-distance runners of the food world, able to stay good for months or even years, but remember once opened, they need to be consumed within a few days. By mastering the art of consumption sequencing, you're ensuring that nothing goes to waste, even during a power outage. We'll delve into the art of consumption sequencing ensuring nothing goes to waste. When the immediate food sources are exhausted, it's time to tap into your prepper pantry. Imagine a treasure trove of sustenance filled with canned goods, dry rations, and long-term food storages. That's your prepper pantry. This is the time to put it to good use. It's not just about having these resources, but also knowing how to use them effectively. Start with canned goods. These are typically ready to eat and require minimal preparation. Soups, beans, vegetables, fruits, and meats are all fantastic options. Remember, once opened, these items need to be consumed quickly to avoid spoilage. Next, move on to your dry goods. These include items like rice, pasta, and grains. These foods are energy-dense and can be cooked using a simple camping stove or even a makeshift outdoor fire. They're great for creating filling and nutritious meals. Now let's talk about long-term food storages. These include freeze-dried meals, dehydrated foods, and meal replacement bars. These items are specifically designed to last for years and provide you with the necessary nutrients in survival situations. They're easy to prepare, usually requiring just hot water and a few minutes of your time. It's also crucial to keep in mind the importance of rationing. In a situation where we're uncertain about when the power will be restored, it's wise to stretch your resources as far as they can go. This means portioning meals appropriately and not wasting any food. Remember, your prepper pantry is your last line of defense against hunger during a power outage. It is there to sustain you when other food sources are no longer viable. So treat it with the respect it deserves. Keep it well stocked and organized so you know exactly what you have and where to find it when the need arises. And there you have it. A strategic breakdown of how to effectively utilize your prepper pantry during a power outage. Canned goods, dry goods, and long-term food storages will become your allies. We'll discuss the best practices for utilizing these resources effectively. And there you have it, my fellow preppers. A comprehensive approach to strategically consuming your food during a power outage. We've covered everything from the initial hours, prioritizing your fridge, moving on to the freezer, and then to fresh produce and countertop items. Finally, tapping into your prepper pantry when immediate food sources are exhausted. Remember, the goal is to maximize freshness and minimize waste. But as we all know, every situation is unique. The key is to stay flexible, adapt, and most importantly, stay calm. Knowledge is your best tool, and I hope this guide aids you in your journey of preparedness. Now I'm curious, what strategies have you used in such situations? Any tips or experiences you'd like to share? Let's keep the conversation going in the comments section below. With that said, thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Stay prepared.